Out the moat back wood and wood Just sweet out the moat back wood and wood Just sweet out the moat back wood and wood Just sweet out the moat back wood and wood Just sweet out the moat back wood and wood Just sweet out the moat back wood and wood We tryna tell you it's hard not to kill you Chicken head ass hoes Talking all that motherfucking shit if you think playing with a full bed of poly is just too harsh, you have to try this string right here, Selenco Tour Bite Soft. I've used it in an RF-97 for about two years, and then an AI-98, going on about a year now. I love the packaging because it feels like it's like puffed up with air, it's actually soft. So. Um, that's one of my favorite things right before I string this up. I just grab this and it's a very thick packaging. Tour Bite Soft is one of Selenko's softest strings, uh, and especially if you compare it to the regular Tour Bite, probably on the stiffer side. And then you have Hyper G, which we just did a review of. I'm gonna link that down below if you haven't seen it. And then comes Tour Bite Soft as um, one of the softest. Color of the strings a lighter gray than Tour Bite, which is, um, it's more of like a, almost a, a matte silver kind of color. Um, it's a four-sided string. It is very sharp on those sides. It's not too, too bad to string up like when you're weaving it through with your fingers. 17 gauge, I think, is, is just awesome. I'm gonna be doing a review of 18 gauge real soon because it's a whole, different animal. It's just a kind of whole different world when you start to step it up to gauges like that. Uh, 17 is going to be for like the normal player, I think. The first thing you notice is the pocketing on Tour Bite Soft. I mean, compared to any other string that I've tried. It's a very kind of specific um, localized pocketing where you really feel the ball. It's not like this, you know, full bed kind of thing like some of these other strings. My buddy introduced me to, to regular Tour Bite years ago. It was my first poly that I tried. And then after experimenting around with uh, gut hybrids, and natural gut setups, I knew that I liked that, uh, I really like that pocketing and feel on the ball. Um, but gut was maybe just a little too, I don't know, too high maintenance and finicky and expensive. Freaking like $50 for like a package of string. I started at 50 pounds, like a, a, you know, initially went down to 47 and then kind of found my sweet spot at 45 pounds. This winter went down to 43 pounds, still feeling good, all the way down to 40 pounds this winter and it just feels better and better and better. Right now I'm playing at 43 pounds because it's about 95 degrees outside when we're playing every day. Some of these string, strings almost melt uh, and it turn into rubber at that kind of temperature. The first few serves you take, with the string, I mean, there's just dust flying everywhere, felt flying everywhere, and the, the ball is just going all over the place because it just, when the string is new, it is just so sharp and good. The, the power that you're getting from the softness is just helping that much more. Tour Bite Soft is a mushy string, is a mushy feel. It has to be hit right in the sweet spot, but if you get it right in the sweet spot on a full stroke, you can't feel anything. It's almost like there's no impact. The most amazing feeling. Why? I, I just want to explain this. It is pocketing super deep. You can feel that. But you can't feel the impact of the ball on your arm and on your shoulder. Where you can feel the ball on the strings, holding on the strings for that split sack. It just feels like an eternity with the string. What are the differences from uh, playing with Tour Bite Soft on a, an RF-97A and then a Yonex AI-98, which are completely different rackets. AI-98 is a flexier racket, it's my daily racket. Uh, the racket is flexing too and it kind of tempers the action on the string. So um, you're getting a feel of the racket and the string uh, with this setup right here. You know, things can kind of get away from you. The consistency is not always, always there but at the trade-off of comfort and power. RF-97, A, RF-97 Autograph, completely different racket than this right here. This is a 340 gram weight racket. Um, it is very stiff, okay? It is so 
heavy to kind of get going, but once you get it going, it just keeps going. Nothing stops it. It's like swinging a boat anchor. Nothing's, <laughs> nothing's gonna stop it. In this frame right here, you get even more of a pocketing feel. That's because the racket is stiffer and it's heavier. So you get a couple things going on. So as that racket is plowing through, um, the ball doesn't upset the racket's path as much. It just keeps going. As that racket is plowing through, it's gonna deform the strings even more because um, the racket's not giving much. It is just going right through and the strings are gonna stretch even more. It's gonna get more control out of Tour Bite Soft with a stiffer, heavier setup like this. Um, and I do use this racket sometimes for fun, just for like baseline groundies for hitting this thing. It's just ridiculous. I love this racket. I wanna get another one. I wanna get the black one, the tuxedo. I wanna get all of them. It's so cool to have so much variation and difference between a single string and two different rackets. Um, but at the heart of it, it's still the same amazing string. It's truly a string that you can daily drive every single day, day after day. Uh, you just gotta keep the tension low, keep the tension in check, restring often, use a 17 gauge. Just keep hitting clean, clean balls right in the sweet spot. I have some buddies that I play with, I've seen the string last four months without breaking and they're still playing with it, but I do not recommend that. Um, you, you, you can do it, but obviously you're gonna lose the whole reason why you're playing with that string in the first place. So I'm finding that three weeks is kind of that sweet spot where I need to restring and it just feels so good. You just get, can get such a heavy, heavy ball with the string. Um, it is just crazy. I mean, just time after time after time, that ball goes in when, when people think it's going long. Um, it's going in, it's going in. On the control side of things, um, you have to add more margin in with the string for sure. You may blow some wide um, here and there, but the trade-off is just pure comfort and just heavy, heavy, heavy spin and grip and uh, balls that just pop right up into people's faces. So I think it's totally um, acceptable to have a little bit kind of crazier balls going here and there um, with that lower tension that I play with and with the softer string like this, which has a ton of power in order to be able to play every single day. I want to hear what you guys thought of this string. What is your setup? Um, and also if you have any other soft polys, any softer strings that you can recommend to me, I'd love to try them out. Drop them in the comments below. If you are a, uh, a fan of Solenko or Tour Bite Soft, please let me know. Uh, I, I'd, lo I'd love to hear if, if your thoughts are similar to mine. Yeah, so Tour Bite Soft right here.